our day The way of the crypt of warriors Can't rely on the bank, there's no way Good morning, good morning, BigSquareRoadDrew.com With your morning, one of these, your sip of coffee that I don't have I need to get on the road soon um, I gotta take Winnie in for a few tweaks for the Winnebago. Winnebago. I we just recorded a um, video of the Winnebago when I walk you through it. Uh, Josh is editing it right now, so I'll get that out. All right, I want to talk about something damn serious, damn important. It is not a guarantee that the good guys win this game, this battle, whatever you want to call it. It's not a guarantee. Well, I'd say it's guaranteed that the good guys win, but it's not a guarantee that we all survive it. The win. Um, the latest talk, and I know 99% of America doesn't even think that the United States would ever go to war, much less have a war, have anybody bombing our country. But it is it is becoming more and more a possibility if the good guys don't pull the trigger on these bad guys within our own country. If we don't take out the bad guys within our own country, um, it might be inevitable that we go to war with Russia or China or um, someone who can lob nuclear bombs on us. Yes, we can lob them on them too. Who has the superior technology? I don't know. Truthfully, I don't think anybody knows really. But it might happen. I want to call everybody's attention. Now, basically, right now, what did uh, our president, President Biden, supposedly our president, told the president of Russia, I look in your eyes, I don't see a soul. Joe Biden doesn't have a soul. I don't know what he's talking about. How would he be able to recognize a soul if he ran into one? His soul is a very corrupt soul. It is It is a soul that, I don't know if it's always been his soul. I don't know if it's a walk-in. I don't know if Joe Biden's even with us anymore. But whatever those in power in the U.S., or at least pretending to be in power, say or do, could have huge consequences. U.S. going to war with Russia over Ukraine would court destruction of the known world. The reason Ukraine's a big deal is for Russia is that that's where their big uh, military dock is in, in the Ukraine. Of course Russia's going to protect that. Why is the U.S. in there? Because we want the world to be controlled by NATO. And we got some real freaks in Washington right now who are saber-rattling. Now, the reason I bring all this up is the John Teeter story. Those of you who've been in the woo-woo world for a long time remember the John Teeter story back 99, 2000, time traveler John Teeter made all these predictions on Art Bell and then uh, further predictions on something else. But it was one of the predictions, and a lot of them have already come true. And then the big time frame was shifted. And in his predictions, he had Russia bombing the U.S. Three different cities get taken out. And Russia warns the people beforehand, say, get out of these cities. You have time to get out. Um, and then they nuke those cities. Now, you can... My buddy Jason F4, in all his brilliance, was able to recreate the John Teeter series. So go to uh, Jason F4 2, his se second channel. It might be his third, though. Um, and he, he does a summary of the John Teeter. The John Teeter story is really hard to um, piece together because there's different interviews that kind of jumps around. Snippy does a great job putting it together. Go check that out. Uh, he just put it up uh, in August, three months ago, and specifically listened to the part about Russia bombing the United States of America. And then the other things, you know, a lot of the things that John Teeter says um, have happened. Absolutely. Spot on. He wouldn't, there's no way to know <laughs> unless you had some kind, of, maybe he was psychic, maybe, I don't know. He sounded genuine to me, um, but the timeline is off, but it looks like it's coming true now. He said, uh, I think he said Trump would be our last president. I do believe that is true. I don't, I saw Joe Biden get, you know, sworn in at 11.55 in the morning. Not 12 o'clock, 11.55. It was very clear that, that that it wasn't going to be while there was, you know, you have to get sworn in after 12 o'clock. And there, obviously there's so many other things that happened that day. 
um, that a lot of the conspiracy guys have gone over. I'm not going to argue that point. Um, but it also talks about the United States breaking up into, I think, three or four different sections. 20 years ago, that would be unheard of. And now that's probably going to happen because of the, you know, the ideologies and the jabs and all that shit. So I'm just telling everybody the reason I'm bringing this up is that I'm going to go back now and listen to all four parts of Snippy's The John Teeter series. And um, go check it out because you're going to, it paints a very different, different world than the good guys, you know, Easily winning this, a smooth transition. I've always said there's no there's no such thing as a smooth transition. The only way to take out the bad guys is to destroy the monetary system. It can be done easily with the ending of market rigging, but they're not going to allow that to the bitter end. So go check that out. Um, also keep an eye on this. We got um, crypto CEOs testifying before Congress. Anybody who says cryptos are flash in the pan, they're useless, they're ridiculous, blah, 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 is is really not that smart. I hate to say it. It's been 10 years that I've given these people the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, I understand. It's tough to understand. You know, you, At some point, you just got to say, how long are you going to be wrong? How long are you going to be wrong? Um, and the silliest, some of the silliest things said still, what happens if the power goes out and all your cryptos are gone? Well, flick the power back on, all your cryptos are still in the exact same place they were. Well, Bix, what if the grid goes down? When the grid comes back up, cryptos are going to be in the exact same place that they were. Well, what if it goes down forever? Then we're all dead. The grid, we are 100% reliant upon the internet now. Did you know that? You know, you couldn't get any food, you can't get any gas, you can't get any power. The internet absolutely 100% controls the world now, including the nuclear power plants that will all melt down and will be dead. So yes, if the power goes down to the world, we're dead anyway. Gold will be useless, worthless in that scenario. Silver would be needed to rebuild the internet. <laughs> Maybe. Who knows? We live for the moment. But yeah, if, if you're still saying, even watch, the, watch Congress, watch this discussion. And then tell me that they're not, one, they're worried. But number two, they're more worried about what we currently have and the fragility of it and the need to rig every market to keep it going. So just keep that in mind when you're checking things out. Evergrande is surprisingly quiet collapse. After months of anticipation, Evergrande finally failed to meet obligations on time and it wasn't the Lehman moment that some had predicted. On the day the bondholders didn't receive interest payments at the end of the grace period, a gauge of Chinese stocks in Hong Kong jumped the most in two months with developers among the best, best performers. You, with the click of a mouse, you can rig any market, so does it really matter? The real question is, if they're not going to pay their bond payments, what are the bondholders going to do? They have to write them off. Now, the, the, it, a default, an official default, triggers the derivatives. That's what's going on. They, sure, of course they can rig the stock market higher, higher. The United States does the exact same thing at all times. But it's the companies that are holding the bonds that aren't getting paid that are going to be saying, uh, wait a minute, do you understand how much money we're going to lose here? Do you understand what's going to happen to the value of properties around the world? So keep an eye on that. Um, it might have been quiet, but it ain't over, let me tell you. Uh, obviously, silver price rigging is not over. Bank of America and J.P. Morgan right now are playing some game behind the scenes with the help of the CFTC. Congratulations, Rustin Benham, being probably the most visible crook ever to run the CFTC. And there's been a lot of them. Gary Gensler at least tried to hide it, at least tried to pretend that he was going to stop silver manipulation. Now, he, now he's trying to pretend to control the cryptos and regulate them, I mean. They're all criminals. As far as cryptos, a little bit of a comeback. Bitcoin up above 50. We've seen it a million times. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be volatile for the rest of your life, probably. Um, and at some point, it'll level out. I don't know where. You know, the problem isn't with cryptos. The problem is with the unbacked fiat money. That's the problem. So, And that problem ain't going away. That problem is just going to get worse. 
All right, tomorrow I'm going to be talking to Jenny Moonstone about all this stuff. We're going to go deep, deep down the rabbit hole, uh, especially I want to get her hands on are we going to war, what cities will be taken out, and if they are taken out, will we have time to, to like John Teeter said, that people would have time to evacuate the cities if they chose to. Um, really interesting times. And go check out all the Jenny Moonstone readings, a bunch of great stuff. We did the best of, all part, three part best of. Um, a lot of stuff on silver that is, uh, Jenny nailed it. The new, the beginning of the year, she's like, hey, they're going to get a new way to rig silver. Voila, you've got the Bank of America leasing silver from J.P. Morgan, using it to rig the market throughout the year and then paying at least a tiny bit back, I think 10% back uh, this month in their delivery of 25 million ounces to J.P. Morgan on the COMEX, all right under the nose of the CFTC. And um, welcome to America, my friends. This is BigSquareRoadDrew.com. Hey, if you want more, go put your name and email address right here and um, get on our mailing list. It's free, all right? And if you want to earn some cryptos while you can, hit subscribe today. And we are giving out 50 Theta Fuel. Um, I don't know how high Theta Fuel will go. Some people say, oh, it's going to go to 10 bucks. That would be, 10 bucks would be 500 bucks worth of Theta Fuel for a $2.99 membership. That is not a guarantee. Um, then again, we were giving away 100 data, and that's now worth, and that wasn't too long ago, and that's now worth, you know, four or five hundred dollars. So check out the uh, Road to Ruta private road subscription. Just go to subscribe today, and you'll find out all the information. This is Bix. I'll talk to you guys later. Hang on tight, my friends. Theta Girl's on her way. Everything on her letter take me so high Well, she said her name was State I want to go for a ride All band expansion always there by my side She's my theta girl She really rocks my world Go theta, go theta, go theta, go I said go theta, go theta, go theta, go Well, the 40X movie 2020 was fun Two ain't seen how high my little theta can run Corn base will lie 300 million or more would love her while they watch her press or she's my theta girl she really rocks my world go theta go theta go theta go i said go theta go theta go theta go go theta go theta go theta go go theta go theta go theta go you're my theta girl she really rocks my world go theta go theta go theta go well my wife got really jealous i love theta too much she said Either me or your coin I'm sad to see her go But look where Theta is gone She's my Theta girl She really watched my world Go Theta, go Theta, go Theta, go I said go Theta, go Theta, go Theta, go Galore. Samsung and Sony, Apple, Netflix and more A Google and then YouTube, well you watch it press or It's my theta girl, she really rocks my world Go theta, go theta, go theta, go Go theta, go 